Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Summerauer. We start off with your top stories, brought to you by Nevada Hands, Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. Two men were shot during a verbal dispute at a northeast Las Vegas apartment complex Friday. Police responded to the Agave Ridge apartment homes around 7.30 p.m. after people called 911, saying two people had been shot. A man in his 20s and a man in his 30s were found shot and taken to the hospital. The older man died while the other was in stable condition. They are suspect, who I only have identified as a black male in a red shirt. Uh, was involved in a verbal altercation with two males. It appears they knew one another. The shooter has not been arrested as of late Friday and was seen leaving the scene in a dark colored sedan. A 77 year old man died after a car rolled over him and dragged him into a residential driveway Sunday afternoon. The man was struck just after 1 p.m. on the 2000 block of Quarry Ridge Street near West Sahara Avenue in South Grand Canyon Drive. He was parked inside of a 1970 Chevy Monte Carlo before getting out of the vehicle while it was still running. While the man was standing behind the car, the driverless vehicle rolled backwards. The man died at the scene. And a memorial service was held Saturday for 16-year-old Ashari Hughes at the New Bethel Baptist Church. Flanking the pink and gold casket were enlarged photos of the high school sophomore in her homecoming dress and a life-size cardboard cutout of the animated Disney character Princess Tiana. Loved ones were seen wearing hoodies and t-shirts with her name and number seven from the jersey she wore from her flag football team. And 2023 marks the year of the rabbit. The downtown Summerlin Lunar New Year Parade returns Sunday evening, complete with fan dancers, stilt walkers, and an oversized dragon. The parade took place on Park Center Drive, which marks the sixth year hosting Lunar New Year at the property. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada Bank on Accountability, the new head of UNLV's Gaming Institute talks about gambling and the center's future under her leadership. Review Journal's Jen Ah reports. Meet Brett Abarbanel, the new executive director of UNLV's Gaming Institute. Gaming innovation, responsible gaming, and the socioeconomic impacts of the casino resort industry. These are just a few topics the university's nearly 30-year-old gambling research center studies. And I'm excited to keep those going as well as expand into all the other different ways that gambling continues to evolve. So what does a Barbanel think is the most pressing issue? Sports betting. She says almost two-thirds of states legalizing sports betting and it's continuing to grow. As gambling evolves, so too does the work that we do. Along with the department's current initiatives. Things like our sub-centers, like the Center, International Center for Gaming Regulation, our Center for Gaming Innovation, which uses this lab that we're sitting in. As for what sparked her interest in gambling research, Abarbanel says playing basement poker at Brown University as an undergrad. To read more on her story, go to LVRJ.com. Now for your weather report, brought to you by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. We're in a wind advisory to start your Monday morning. Wind gusts could get as high as 30 miles per hour in parts of the valley until about 4 p.m. Daytime highs today ranging in the upper 40s to mid 50s. Today's winds will die down just a bit with lows in the low to mid 30s. For the rest of the week, daytime highs will stay in the low to upper 50s range with slight breezy conditions until about Wednesday. Evening lows will stay in the low to mid 30s. Vegas Nation brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. The NFL Players Association announced Raiders tight end Darren Waller as one of five finalists for the 2023 NFLPA Allen Page Community Award. The award is an annual award that recognizes a player for their outstanding community service in their team city and or hometown. Each finalist will receive a $10,000 donation from the NFLPA for the foundation or charity of their choice. Two Raiders have previously won the award. Gene Upshaw in 1980, and Namdi Asamoah in 2010. Sports, sponsored by DNR House of Diamonds, making luxury affordable, located in downtown Summerlin. This weekend, the Aces traded two-time All-Star forward Dierica Hamby to the Los Angeles Sparks for center Amanda Zowie B, marking the end of Hamby's eight-year tenure with the franchise. Hamby sent her thanks on social media, but also criticized the way the organization treated her after she announced her pregnancy. Quote, being traded is part of the business, being lied to, bullied, manipulated, and discriminated against is not. 
For more on Hamby's trade, check out LVRJ.com. In your health news, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. Opioids like fentanyl and Oxycontin are typically prescribed short term and for acute pain. Chronic use of opioids leads to more problems in the majority of people than it does benefits. And that's the point of using any drug, right? To have more benefits than problems. Dr. Geyer says this doesn't mean opioids should be avoided. There's a role for opioids in our world, but the goal is to make sure every patient who receives a prescription is provided education. Every patient who walks into our office should be familiar with how to use opioids safely, when they're appropriate, how to store them, how to dispose of them, and what to look for along the course of their use. If that's not happening, we're creating statistics. Sports betting, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The pro football season is quickly coming to a close and Station Casinos has posted odds on the conference championship game. The Philadelphia Eagles are two and a half point favorites over the San Francisco 49ers and minus 140 on the money line in the NFC championship game. The 49ers are plus 120 and the total is 45 and a half. In the AFC championship game, the Cincinnati Bengals and Kansas City Chiefs are a pick -em with a total of 47 and a half. In your entertainment news, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's, has live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. Madonna has added a second show to her T-Mobile Arena stop on her upcoming celebration tour. The pop superstar plays October 8th, the date added to her previous October 7th announcement. Tickets for both performances went on sale Friday. A total of 13 new dates have been added along with the Vegas show. And Blake Shelton plans to play pop-up shows at Old Red Las Vegas, the country fortress being developed on the corner of Flamingo Road and the Strip. Review Journal John Katzlamita sat down with the icon himself for more exclusive details. I feel like there, there hasn't been a, a country music home on the Strip, you know, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and country music seems to be becoming more a, a part of the Las Vegas scene. Th to have Old Red right on the mm -hmm. Strip down here and, and not be a resident, not something that goes away. It's going to be here seven days a week with country music live inside the building. Yeah, I just think it's just been a, uh, a void here. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerauer. If you have an Amazon Fire TV, search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. From the Las Vegas Review Journal, have a great day. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.